What is up everybody, iOS 12 beta 6 just got released, we're going to take a look at it on the iPhone SE and it's been a minute since I made a video about this specific phone and I want to apologize, I've really not been showing this phone too much love, but at the same time I have because I've made so many videos calling it the most important iPhone and all that stuff, but really I want to take a step back and just kind of talk about beta 5 though and overall my experience with it wasn't too pleasant. I've had a lot of bugs with it on my iPhone 10 specifically, which is my daily driver. I had so many like r small little bugs. Like one of them is just a Bluetooth error. It's not really an error. It's mostly like whenever I'm connected my phone to my car, I would just have like random audio playing, which was super weird. And even today, my audio would just like randomly cut off, even though the app, my Spotify was still on and all this stuff. So I wasn't really too sure what was going on there. Like it should have still been working and everything. But beta 5 somehow ruined it and I think with beta 6 it did fix it. But I will have to go further and test it. You know, I'm going to have to go and uh, use it a little bit more. And I will have a follow-up video about beta 6 in a couple of days. Probably by like Saturday or something. That explains my week of using it and we'll just go from there. But with beta 6 they really didn't add any like too crazy features. Nothing that's going to like have you mind boggled or anything. There were some small bug fixes and there were some splash screens basically everywhere so every time you open anything i don't think with the app store you're going to see anything but throughout the whole os you might see some new app splash screens that come up and basically explain to you how apple is using your certain data or anything like that um, that is basically the main thing that i've gotten from this that's kind of more ui element that's kind of in your face on the front end but most of the stuff like i said was on the back end and with beta 6 throughout i read the, the notes about beta 6 and that has a lot of problems with it too which is pretty surprising. I wasn't expecting it to have that many problems, but there are a lot of bugs within iOS 12 still, and it's kind of crazy that we're only like a month and some change away from the official release, so that's kind of weird. And this update really did only come out to around 400 megabytes on my iPhone SE, so it wasn't really that big of an update to begin with. Now I did run a benchmark and on iOS 12 beta 5 at a multi-core score of 128,234 and I just re-ran it and it actually went up to 128,690 so only about a 600 point difference which isn't that big at all. Um, I've seen much bigger improvements and actually on the iPhone 6 it did go down and on the iPhone 6s it did go up so kind of a weird thing there I think it could have possibly been like it could have been much more higher or it could have been much more lower. So at least it didn't go drastically down or drastically up. So you will see pretty much same improvements, but you will see pretty much more stable, I guess. And it's kind of weird because beta 5 out of all the beta versions so far on iOS 12, beta 5 was probably the least stable, if I'm being honest, which is pretty surprising because it's supposed to go up. But in this case, it did go down. So what's my takeaway from this specific beta? Really, it's just what I say about every beta that's ever been released. Do not update your daily driver to a beta. You're only asking for problems. I'm only doing it because I have to, because I have to talk about it, but if I wasn't, I wouldn't even do it at all. Stick with iOS 11.4.1 and you'll be set. You won't have that many problems, but with iOS 12 betas, there's quite a few problems. And that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. We're still giving away an iPhone success and an iPhone SE on this channel. And this is actually, I think I'm going to pick a winner within the next two weeks. So if you want to enter now, you might as well. In order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both those links are down in the description. So make sure you guys enter that. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.